If your business is asking you to apply a filter by using an apply button or reset a filter by using a reset button, then this video will help you learn this cool trick. Welcome to another video on our YouTube channel, Tech Talk with Niket. In this video, we are going to see how we can apply all filters in a single go by clicking on a button and reset all filters in a single go again by clicking on a button. Let's get started. So over here, I have created a simple text table using orders, sample superstore data. And I'm using fields like order ID, product name, ship mode, postal code, and ship date, showing the profit and sales as well. I want to do apply order ID, product name, ship mode, postal code, and ship date as filter, but they are applied only if I click on apply filter button. So to do that, I'll create a new worksheet and I'll rename it and call it as apply filters and I'll create a calculated field something like this I'll call it as apply filters in this manner and I'll click on OK I'll bring this apply filter and drop it to rows in this way now all the filters that are applied on your details sheet I'll apply them over here in apply filter. So they are order ID, product name, ship mode, postal code, and ship date. I'll apply them over here. I'll bring in something like order ID. And I'll use all the values. Click on apply, click on OK. I'll bring. And now I'll also do one thing. I'll hide this add filters label over here for the row, something like this. Along with that, whatever you have added in your filters card over here, you should add that to your details section as well. So I'll bring in the order ID, drop it to detail. You'll see this will expand. Don't worry about that. We'll handle it in a while. I'll bring in ship mode and drop it to detail. I'll bring in something like ship date and add it to detail. Please keep in mind, you want to keep it as exact date, same as the one that you have over here. I'll bring in postal code, drop it to detail again, and the last one, which is product name. The order doesn't matter because you're putting it in the details section. And I'll change it from automatic and make it as polygon, like this. Expand it a little bit so that it fits in, reduce the width over here. I'll tell you how it is, how it will help us later on. Click over here. Uh, do a little formatting alignment I'll, I'll center align it so it should be center aligned the header should be center aligned again in this manner looks good i'll close it now this is my apply filter section i want to do something similar which is a reset filter so i'll create a new worksheet call it as reset filter and i'll bring the, bring in this reset filter field i'll just show you what i've created so I've created a simple reset filter field again on the same lines the way we had it over there for apply filter. What I do is I'll just drag and drop it to text like this. I'll expand the width a little bit so that it appears to be fine. And I'll align it in center, something like this. Looks good. Uh, since we are changing values let me increase the size and make it to 10 and make it as bold as well click on okay there you go so i've created these fields now what i'll do i'll go to my dashboard where i've already added the details sheet which was this one over here in the dashboard now i'll bring in the apply filters sheet over here like this i'll hide the title in this manner and the same filters which are there on detail sheet they are there for the apply filter as well so I'm going to bring in all the filters which are available over here, like this. I have all the filters over here. Now what you can do is you can bring them in a horizontal container to make them look good. And that's what I will do. I'll bring a horizontal container over here and I'll get all these things within the horizontal container.
Now, here's a secret sauce. So if I'm going to apply any filter, say or, or on postal code or product name, or even on ship mode, and when I click on apply filter, it should apply over here. Right now, it will not apply anything. You can see it over here. It isn't changing for the value that is there. So for that, what I'll do, I will go to my dashboard. I'll go to actions. I will add an action, which is a filter action. And I'll call this as apply filter. This will be from my apply filter worksheet. It will run on selection and the target will be my detail sheet and will show all the values that are there. And you will have to show all the selected values for the filter that are there. So I'm going to start with drag it a little down. And I'll start with order ID. Go with postal code. We'll also add product name, ship mode, ship date. The last one that is, oh, that's the last one, ship date. Cool. And I'm going to click on OK. I'll click on OK again. Now over here, I'll just make a little change for all the filters and I'll only show the relevant values that are there so that you don't make a connect, you don't make any selection so that you are left with no other value than that. And now if I make any changes, so say if I go with only same day, click over here and click on apply filter. There you go. I can see only the same day information that is there. Let me play around. And if I click on it again, the apply filter will go off. Now let me play around with the date values. If I choose any specific date and click on apply filter, you can see the values are changing. That's how apply filter will work. Now let's see how reset filter will work. Process is somewhat same as that of apply filters. We'll again go to dashboard, click on actions and add another action, which is a filter action. I'll call it as reset filter. And now my source will be reset filter. I want to run it on selection and my target sheets are going to be apply filter and details sheet. I'll show all the values that are there. And yes, I will filter for selected fields. I'll start with order ID. I'll put in the Postal code, add product name, ship mode, and ship date, like this. And now I'll click on OK, and I'll click on OK. I have already selected ship mode as same day and I've already selected a, f a date range. Now if I click on reset filter, see everything got changed. Let me show it to you one more time. I'll change the postal code and I'll pick a few postal codes over here. And now when I click on apply filter, values will change. The moment I click on reset filter, you can see all the values are coming up. So this is how you can have buttons for apply filter and reset filter, which will apply all the filters in a single go and which will reset the filters respectively. That's all in this video. Thank you for your time. I hope you like it. Till the next video, stay safe and happy learning.